A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to increase and decrease indent in Microsoft Word. And before starting the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I'm using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you are using different version of Microsoft Office, you may see a little difference in appearance. So let's get started. And the first point of discussion is what this feature is. And uh, imagine a situation where you have a paragraph and if you want to make some kind of space in the first line or in the hanging lines below one, then you can use this feature. Or imagine you want to move this whole paragraph towards the right hand side, then this uh, tutorial will be very useful. So first thing we are going to work with the increase and decrease indent, very simple way. What we can do, we can select this whole paragraph or we can keep the cursor here and go to the home tab and you will see two options. First one is the decrease indent and second one is the increase indent. So what this one does, uh, decrease indent, make the space between the text and the left margin smaller and increase indent will make the space between the left margin and the text bigger so here in this case there is no space so you can't decrease the indent but you can increase the increase the indent so what i'm going to do here is select this and use this increase indent feature so you can see there is a space here and now if you want to decrease the indent you have to select this option that is called decrease indent it will make the space smaller and that's what it is doing right now similarly if you want to make the whole paragraph in the document just select all and increase indent you will see the whole text has moved towards the right hand side if you don't like this idea just go back and push it further left you can do the same thing using the search box and if search box is not activated in your Microsoft Word, you can activate it by pressing Alt plus Q. And for my case, it is already activated. So I'm going to just type indent. And here I'm going to use increase indent. And when I press it, you will see the whole text has moved towards the right hand side. If I don't like it, again, I can decrease indent from there. I'm going to choose this another option to do this is the uh, ruler bar and which is here and if it is not activated in your case you can go to the view tab and activate it from here so for my case again this is activated so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cursor here and I will choose the first line that is the first line indent i'm going to select it like this you will see the whole text the first line is moving towards the right hand side if i don't like this idea i can go to the control g and it will come back to the normal if you want to make the whole uh, all the paragraph and the first line should be indented so what you can do you can select all the paragraph and choose the first line and move it towards the right hand side and you will see all the paragraph became in similar way where the first line is indented imagine a case where you want to indent the hanging line so in hanging line what happens that other than the first line remaining other lines is indented so i will go back to the previous by pressing ctrl g here so imagine if you want to keep the first line like this and other lines if you want to move further right so you can use the hanging indent option so you can select it and if you want to select only this just select it and you will see the option here and you will see the option called hanging indent and then just pull it towards the right hand side if you don't like this, control G and if you want to make the whole paragraph indented like this, just move it like this. Another option to do the first line indentation is using the tab and backspace. 
so first go there put the mouse cursor over there and press uh, tab it will move it will indent the first line similarly if you want to indent in the second first line of the second paragraph also just put it like this if we don't want to put it put backspace the last option to do the indentation is using the paragraph dialog box so just keep the mouse like this go there to the small icon here in the paragraph group you will see another dialog box has opened and in the indent the spacing option you will see an indentation and it says the margin and if you want to make a margin from the left and right you can increase it from here and you can see a preview like this and if you click ok you will see the whole text has moved towards the center some kind of spacing from the left and right margin and if you don't like it put ctrl g and it will come back to the normal uh, this is about uh, indentation and suppose now we can do the first line and the hanging line in indentation also from here so in the space all option right now it is none is selected so what you can do you can click the first line and you can define a precise space here so I'm happy with 1.27 but if you want to increase it you can increase it very easily but just pressing this arrow icon so you can see the preview here and if you like it just press ok if you want to do it everything like that just select everything first line define the space click ok and imagine if you want to do the hanging indent you can select instead of first line you can select the hanging line you can define a space and here is the preview this is how it is going to look like and press ok it will change like this so this is all about the indentation option in microsoft word and hope it has given you a little idea about uh, how to indent how to increase and decrease indent in microsoft word how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the coming videos with this i will say goodbye and see you soon